I'd really encourage you to read this book, Burn, by Herman Ponzer, PhD. It's interesting, fun to read, has a lot of anecdotes, unique perspective, certainly some uh, eye-opening conclusions and discoveries. And at the end, a sobering message, one that I think we all need to take in, understand, and then act on. The book is about energy, metabolism. And he explains the evolution of humans, first as primates, and then all through our development. Ponser spent quite a bit of time with the Hadza community. Uh, it's a hunter-gatherer society that still maintains that type of, of existence in uh, Tanzania and Africa. They walk five, five miles a day, 15,000 steps, expend many, many more calories than what we do. And because the body has this amazing ability to balance, the daily energy expenditure of the Hadza people are on the same curve based on body weight that, that we are. The body has a clock inside or, or a mechanism inside to sense that when you're expending all that energy, it's going to cram down on the other activities of metabolism that you have, you know, maintenance of the organs. And you're begin, going to become, in what it senses, as starvation mode. And it will start shutting down those other systems of metabolism to account for the fact that you're not consuming what you're expending through activity on a daily basis. You're in starvation mode. So you can't exercise your way into weight loss. But he's quite specific in pointing out you should still exercise a multitude of benefits to exercising. So exercise, move, have activity, absolutely. But don't do it with the goal or the end in mind being that you're going to lose weight. You're not. One of his unique perspectives or thoughts was that humans are as we are because we shared. It's unique among uh, all the primates. And because we shared as we were hunter-gatherers, we didn't each one individually have to obtain our own energy. We could count on the collective effort of the group and then sharing for the prosperity of the group, which in his view has led to the tremendous success, good or bad, of the human race. But there's a downside or a flip side or the other side of that sharing. And it is, we form tribes we protect our own, we share within our community. But at the same time, that means we don't share with others, with not our tribe, not our community. And it's led to all the carnage and wars and separation throughout time. The crucial argument of our time is, who is part of our group? Who counts as one of us and who doesn't? Of course, the only morally acceptable answer to that question is everyone. Everyone counts. We are all people. We are all part of the same human tribe. To win this argument, which we must, we need to overcome our suspicion of outsiders, the, evolution, the evolutionary price we pay for our incredible willingness to share. It's really something to assimilate, especially now in this day and age of separation and so much anxiety of uh, defining others. He says that most mammals can expend one calorie to garner 40 calories worth of food. And so, you know, most of the time they're, they're sleeping or resting. For humans, hunter-gatherers, the Hadza expend one calorie to, to gather 10 calories. No organism has actually survived that has consumed more energy than what they received. Our modern food production system violates the fundamental laws of ecology. When we include the fossil fuel energy consumed in food production, we burn eight calories for every calorie of food we produce. That is not a great recipe for avoiding extinction. We need to change stuff fast. But for me, I can see a tremendous waste, and that's the reason I was attracted to plant-based and vegan in the first place, is the tremendous environmental waste that the animal agriculture industry has. 
The animal agriculture industry is a poster child of spending extra calories to receive back just a few calories. We just need to stop. We need to evolve. This whole book of Ponzer's is about evolution. So now it's time to change again. And that is, humans evolved as opportunistic omnivores. We eat anything. That's why we could easily inhabit all niches of, of the Earth's environment. But what got us here doesn't have to carry us forward and really can't carry us forward. There isn't enough planet for everybody to have access to the diet that we've come up with in the Western world. There's just, there's not enough planet. We need to stop eating animals, take those extra calories that those animals inefficiently consume, rewild that extra land, and then we eat the plants. And I know that isn't the hunter-gatherer that even the Hadza mentioned, but it's what we have to do if we're going to stop being tribal, consider the whole planet as one, we're all one, we're all in this together, and evolve, learn to grow, learn to change. Use that big brain of ours to actually pay attention, make sense, and move towards the future. So as the mindfulness practice, the embodiment practice of being in nature, as hunter-gatherers, we evolved to be in nature. The Hadza are in nature every day, all the time. That is their world. And by us being in nature, maybe it helps reconnect with who we are and where we come from. And as a side benefit, maybe we'll just try to grow that nature and find out ways to increase the amount of nature that we have by whatever means. Maybe close your eyes and just listen for a moment to the birds and the sounds, maybe the smells. Without your sight, your other senses become just a little bit more aware. So that's nice. So just be in nature. And let's make more nature by using less of our land to grow the food for the animals.